Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Amerson Speaks, and I love this shirt, like, uh -huh. But today's video is the pros and cons of dating your best friend. Now, as of now, I'm fucking single. I'm taking Because I am not going to put myself in a situation where I feel as though I am not wanted, and they don't make it apparent as so. We're gonna start off with the pros of dating your best friend. One of the pros about dating your best friend is that they're your best friend and now they're your significant other, whether it's your boyfriend or girlfriend. So you guys already know a lot about each other and you're already comfortable with each other. The other good thing about dating your best friend is that you don't have to try and be someone else because you already know what they like and it'll be easy to surprise them and you might be able to intertwine that with something else that you like and make it more special for them if you're going to get them a present. Another thing about dating your best friend is that if you're having a problem with something else and not in the relationship, then they're there and you know you can talk to them. So you don't have to feel awkward about coming to them for a question or help or anything like that. And you both can eat pizza and have great sex because who doesn't like great sex? <laughs> I do. There's a lot of good things about dating your best friend, but the bad thing and the major huge thing about dating your best friend is that once you break up, you don't have your best friend anymore. You know, I dated my best friend. We were best friends for years. And then I asked her out and she was like, oh my God. So we dated and then um, she said she couldn't be in a relationship because she don't think she didn't think that it would be great to be in one right now because there was some problems going on with her family. I don't know how true all of that is, but, you know, I'm just going to take her word for it because I'm obviously hoping she wouldn't lie to me. Another bad thing about dating your best friend is that the breakup. The breakup is like a double breakup in one breakup. Okay, because not only are you losing your girlfriend or boyfriend, but you're losing your best friend at the same time. And it's like, <laughs> and like, ah, uh, and I don't know, like what I don't like about relationships is that if you're in a relationship and they like ignore you, like they can update their social media and they can view what you've sent them and leave you on red. I think that hurts. That hurts if that's the only person you want to talk to and they do that to you. Like, you fucking douchebag. You know, I hate putting my all into someone and not getting anything back. I hate putting my all into someone just to get treated like shit because no one deserves to be like that. And we all deserve someone who appreciates us, values our efforts and what we do to them and reciprocates the efforts and the amount of what we put in back to us. We all want to be loved. We want to love people. Nobody wants to be let on. No one wants to be hurt. You know, I can remember every night I would go to bed crying and I even self-harmed myself over this girl because she was my best friend and she was my girlfriend and I loved her. You know, she would ignore me for weeks and I would still stay loyal and devoted and dedicated to her. I would message her hoping that she was not sick. I would message her hoping that she's okay and she's not in any trouble. You know, I would make sure that she eats and if she was having a headache, I would get her medicine. You know, I would tell her to get medicine and I just hate that I did so much for her and she honestly didn't do that for me. You know, she didn't express her feelings towards me. She's even said that. And I don't know why she did what she did to me, but I'm going to read you some things from Snapchat. She would open them up and she never replied back. She only replied back um, like once. But I said, really, why are you doing this to me? Are you done with me or something? Just fucking tell me this is hurting. Fucking asshole. I love you and you treat me like this. Please stop ignoring me. I'm trying not to cut. I'm so fucking close to it. And I was emotionally stressed the fuck out. My emotions were crazy. My anxiety was overboard. And I just felt like I was drowning in this love that I had for someone that honestly didn't care for me. And I think that's what hurt most is that I was loving someone that while loving them, it did nothing but torture me because she honestly didn't make it seem like she cared about me. And I'm not bashing on her, but if I did, it would be horrible. Why are you ignoring me? I haven't done anything. Why do you hate me? Why did you give up and stop loving me? I cut so much today. Skype me or something. I really need to talk. This is what the fuck she replied back with. You're literally cutting yourself over a girl. You would think that if you said you loved someone, you would be more sensitive to them, right? You would actually fucking care if they hurt themselves, right? Well, apparently not. 
Because no one gives a shit about me because every girl I end up dating fucking leaves me. And then people tell me, oh, you're a good guy. You know, you would make a great boyfriend. I don't understand how girls would do that. Why the fuck am I single? Why the fuck do I keep getting hurt? You know, why do I have to, why do I have to be the bigger person? Why do I have to get hurt? I don't like having these heartbreaks, you know? I said over you. You've been ignoring me this entire week and the weekend. I want to talk. Tell me what's going on because it's hurting me. And then she didn't reply, and I said, do you not want me? She opened it up and didn't reply. I said, I'll take that as a yes. I honestly can't believe you'd do this. At least tell me and not ignore me, but I guess I'll go. You don't have to worry about me ever again. She opened it up at 6 o'clock this morning and did not reply. But she was able to update her Snapchat at 7.07 .07 this morning that said, fuck my life. You know, I feel the same way, like, fuck my life, because I put a lot of effort and I put a lot of myself and my soul and my love and who I am. I opened myself up and became so vulnerable and let her in, you know. And now I have to put these walls back up. I really can't trust any females right now, you know. Because when you love someone that much and you've done so much for them and they do you like that, they do you dirty like that, it really hurts, you know. Like, if I did what females did to me, to them, they would not fucking like that. I would probably be called the biggest fucking douchebag pretzel dick of America. Even worse than Donald Trump. But those are the pros and cons of dating your best friend. That was a little personal experience of mine. Do I hate the girl? No, I don't hate any of my exes. You know, it's their loss, honestly, because I'm a great guy. Like, I'm not going to beg someone to stay in my life, you know. I'm not going to beg anyone to stay in my life. If you want to be there, you'll fucking make it obvious you want to be there. If you want to love me, you'll show it. If you say you won't hurt me, then don't do it. You know, don't say it and then fucking do it. I still got love for her, you know. If she ever needed me, I would be here for her. I don't care that she hurt me, you know. She made me happy. She helped me love myself. Am I going to love another female? Eventually, I know I'm saying I'm not going to, but uh, all of us guys talk that bullshit and females too. So with that being said, comment below your personal experience if you dated your best friend, how did it turn out? If you're still together, congratulations. I can't keep a relationship for shit, but I can masturbate every night. So give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Stock me in all the social media links down in the crotch below. And with that being said, good damn bye.